Hi, I'm Sarah Heider, the creator of WomenHoldUpHalfTheSky.com. I just wanted to check in and share my experience after my three-day tour of Women Hold Up Half the Sky at Edgewood Middle School in Worcester, Ohio. I am an Edgewood Middle School alumna, and it was great to go back and see all of my old favorite teachers and my favorite teacher of all time, of course, my mom. It was great to give back to the schools have given so much to me. Uh, it was great to walk the hallways once again. So I was so excited to talk to all of the 7th graders, over 300 7th graders, in Worcester City Schools about feminism, gender equality, and women hold up half the sky. They asked me if I could specifically somehow relay it back to bullying, which of course was very easy to do. I'm so lucky that women hold up half the sky and feminism have so many elements and touch so many aspects of our lives that I can really alter the message to fit to any group. So I decided to talk about the objectification of specifically women in the media and how that relates to bullying. So the average teenager consumes 10 hours of media a day, so they are bombarded with images and advertisements even when they're maybe just googling for information about a homework assignment. I started by defining objectification. Objectification is treating a person as a thing, and this is exactly what the media does to women and to men as well. So to help seventh graders understand it and relate to it, I had them write down three qualities or characteristics about their personalities that they liked uh, that have nothing to do with their physical or outward appearance. I loved hearing all of the responses. I heard everything from weird to athletic to nice to musical to friendly and just so many more great answers. Uh, we are so often celebrated for our looks and our physical appearance, our outward appearance. So it was great to take a moment to really celebrate everyone's great personalities and characteristics. Um, so after the kids wrote down all of their qualities, I had them close their eyes, think about their qualities and personalities, and then imagine being completely stripped of those characteristics and unique traits, and all that was left was their physical appearance. There were so many gasps and sighs in the audience that I know that the message truly did sink in with them. I hope that all of the kids keep their piece of paper with their qualities written down so that they can look at it when they're feeling down or feeling nervous or anxious and just be reminded of how strong they really are. Um, so I tied this into bullying because the way that media treats people becomes the way that society treats people. If we objectify each other, we ultimately bully each other. We strip each other of those internal qualities that are so great about ourselves. I hope that since I'm speaking to these kids at such an important time in their life, uh, they're becoming young adults and teenagers, I hope that it's something that will influence their growing up and the choices that they do make in life. So I just wanted to thank you, Edgewood Middle School staff, 7th uh, grade class, for allowing me to come in and speak to you um, about something I'm really passionate about. I hope that my speaking to you changed your life as much as it's changed mine. So thank you, um, and have a great day.